Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf, joined by Bella McCauley here in the tour van for the 10K versus 10K comparison. It is the Ping G430 Max 10K driver versus the TaylorMade QI10 Max. Um, Bella, as we talked about a little bit before the video, just the, the push for these companies to get more and more MOI into drivers. And so now TaylorMade and Ping both kind of pushing this sort of 10,000 MOI message out there. So of course we had to do them uh, in a head-to-head -head test. And so, um, but first, Bell, I just want to get your first impression just on how these, these clubs look, um, and then we'll kind of also dive into maybe sort of what you're looking for out of a driver as well. Yeah, they look really good. So for me personally, my driver's uh, Titleist, and it has a little bit more of like a smaller head. Normally, that's kind of how I like drivers. These ones, like initially, from my opinion, look a little bit um, bigger, a little wider out on the face, mm -hmm. um, which probably adds to the forgiveness, but... We'll see. We'll see if it's like yeah. for me or not, but I'll, I'll definitely I'll get, try to give a good comparison. Yeah, yeah, it's it, you're definitely right. I mean, these they are designed to look bigger at, mm -hmm. at a dress because more of that weight is behind the golf ball yeah. versus I believe you have a TSI three, which is yes. a little bit more compact and uh, a little bit more, I guess, workable for you. Um, but that's that's kind of the push nowadays is to provide golfers with as much forgiveness as possible. Right. Yeah. So when you hit the ball off the toe or the heel, that ball still performs in a similar manner. Exactly. So um, for ping, they're able to do it by taking, uh, removing some weight, adding more in this back fixed weight. It's not adjustable anymore. TaylorMade is able to do it, saving some weight as well, um, stabilizing the crown as well. The, the, the crown here is a little bit shinier and, and newer on the TaylorMade. So some advancements made, um, but Vela, of course, I know uh, it's all about the testing and how that goes. So, and I also will say this, I know you're a very good ball striker. Uh, so if you do miss the center of the face a few times, that might be actually okay for this video. Okay, we're going to test, test the forgiveness of these drivers. <laughs> so um, maybe swing a little bit harder than you normally do and try awesome. to get it out there. And Sounds great. we'll do a really good test here. So um, you ready to hit some bombs? Absolutely, let's, let's do, do it. it. Okay. There you go. My normal draw. <laughs> yeah, I know you, you play that draw. Um, I also, so I tried, I know there's these are stock shafts with each model. Um, I tried to match up kind of with what you're used to. So they're both, okay. you know, 55-ish gram uh, regular flex. We'll say shafts. the smash factor was good there. Yes. Woo. So I'm curious about is going to be really how I guess tight the dispersion patterns are with both. Yeah, that'll be interesting. I mean, How it consistent feels, the ball is. It does feel really good off the face. Yeah. Yeah, TaylorMade did stick with the carbon face with the QI10 series and, you know, pretty much every other you know, manufacturer out there has some sort of titanium for yeah. the or even a steel face, uh, but carbon's different, where Taylor McKenna is, is different than the rest. Yeah. So one thing about me is normally, like we've talked about in the past, is I normally have that like right um, setting to it. Oh yeah. Because of my draw. Yep. Whereas this, I don't think that's, is ready That's a good for point. It. Probably we could have, right now, they're, right now they're just a standard 10 and a half degrees, um, and we probably could have made that adjustment. But that's okay. Also, this driver is a kind of a draw bias driver. Yeah, so yeah. This is I can, <laughs> probably, you know, it's different than what you're used to. Yeah, I can kind of tell a little bit. Also, just it being like, I think that one was good. Tried to compensate oh, yeah. for it. But I also just think like being the bigger head. Yeah. Um, and the draw bias kind of makes it a little bit more likely to go left. but Yeah, totally. And that's, you know, again, that's going to be completely but natural. That's how these... I will say the best thing about it is just off the face, it feels really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can tell you're getting, starting to get a little more comfortable with that. I know it's yeah. an adjustment from what you're used to, but I mean, right there, you can't ask for much more than, than that one right there. Yeah, that one was good. That one was good. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I think that, I mean, those, your, your good swings are kind of the same golf shot every time, you know? It's yeah. A, about a 240 yard total, kind of a, a mini draw with kind of spin right around the mid 2000s there, 2500. Yeah. The last couple I've been able to like kind of compensate for the left yeah. setting. 
Yeah, I mean, that was not well hit. That was like my one bad one. That was not well hit, you said? No. Was it off like the toe or something? Yeah, I just did not hit that one. Super good. Okay, yeah, a little bit high and, and toey. I could see. Just had the club face super open. Yeah. And the face angle is a little open too. Good contact there too. Yep. Yeah. That like, see. seems to be the normal. Yeah. Let me see how many we got. Nine? Let's go. Let's hit one more here. Okay. We'll go 10 total with each club, and then we'll maybe grab, let's say, the best eight out of 10. Perfect. That one stayed out right, too, but. Just a little bit. Um, all right. So we've got all these numbers. Those are fun. I would and probably take out eight and 10, maybe. I don't know. Six should go like this, and then like this. OK. So. Distance is super consistent. The distance is very consistent. I like that. Um, let's see what we can do here because I kind of wanted to go sort of the, I guess, your most efficient swings. Okay. So this one and maybe this one are the kind of the ones that, but I don't know, that one's up there too. I kind of just like removing these two since those are definitely the two early ones that you're kind of hadn't compensated quite yet. Um, for that sort of draw the bias. The club head speed, you can tell yeah. too. Yeah, so let's go with nice. these. See that? Yeah, okay. So here's eight, the best eight out of 10. Um, Perfect. That's a pretty good dispersion pattern right there. And you're hitting the ball. I kind of want to see what the total distances are every single time here because, let's see, we've got 237, 242, 239, 240, 239, 237. And look at the carry on all of them. So similar. Basically, your last six swings here were carry distance was all within yard and a half, two yards. Yep. Um, so now you've hit you've hit ten swings with that driver. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you what's your, kind of your feedback on? We already talked about it a little bit as you were hitting, but the feel, um, how that looks, you know, uh, maybe talk about some of that forgiveness too, and maybe the swings that weren't so perfect as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, like we talked about a little bit in the video, this club definitely feels like it has a left bias. Yeah. The head's a bit bigger, so. For people who kind of like that look, that's pretty much all personal preference. Um, it definitely would be something for you. And then I think from a consistent standpoint, I just really liked the smash factor on there. Even yeah. some of the shots I felt like I didn't hit super well, but to have super consistent smash factor of like right around even 1.46 when I didn't hit it well, yeah, that's super solid and super nice to see. Um, and you can even tell by the dispersion there of just the distance to have a shot where you'd be like, oh, you don't hit it well, hit a little heely, hit a little toey, and for it to still be right around that same carry, same total is really good to see. Yeah, yeah. I think, I mean, ultimately that's kind of what drivers are aimed at is consistency regardless of strike location on the face. Yep. Um, so, all right, now what I want to do is hand you this driver so you can kind of get, you know, the the perspective of looking both at Perfect. sort of a dress. So you can kind of compare the two of them. Okay. Um, so you got the, that's the G430 Max 10K. So Perfect. talk to me about what you see with that one here. This one has ridges on the, on the top of the yeah. club, which looks kind of cool. I would say it's similar in the sense that it's a bigger head, a little bit wider. Um, looks good from a dress though. It also doesn't seem to have as much left sway a left balance as much right okay, away yeah, yeah. but I, I could be wrong we'll see yeah so that one is not i guess designed to be draw bias like the tailor made yeah so you, that's you notice kind that of, right away so. i can tell kind of just by the setup on it so yeah because yeah. this driver is um ping's kind of mission with this one was to basically deliver the straightest ball flight possible yeah where, you know, um, whereas the QI 10 max is a little bit more designed to maybe also fight some slice that golfers might have. So okay. there's a bit of a difference there. I imagine we'll see a, sl a straighter ball flight here. Yeah. For me personally, when I hit clubs that have left bias, it does not go well. <laughs> yeah. And I, I know that it's, you know, what I maybe could have done is, is adjusted these drivers a little bit to where it's closer to your setting too. I also noticed right away a different sound to Absolutely. the ping. But I will say it's a much better, the, the previous generation of ping drivers was known for having very loud and brash sound. This is definitely 
a little bit better than that. Yeah, the sounds I remember hitting, even in some of our other testing videos, yeah. hitting some ping clubs and the, the, the sound off of them was pretty loud and mm -hmm. yeah. a little obnoxious, but right. it sounds way better. Yep. There's some extra speed. That one stayed out right, but. I think the overall weight of the ping driver, that build there is a little bit heavier. So might see that club speed dip a tiny bit. That was a good ball. How about the feel of the ping driver here compared to the TaylorMade? You know, I've always thought this a little bit about ping. It's, it's harder for me to feel like it's super good off the face, like a smash factor. With the TaylorMade, I could really tell like I'm hitting it well, it has a yeah, really okay. good sweet spot. Ping's always like kind of been that way for me. Um, Maybe a like little firmer feel, you think? A little bit firmer and also just with the sound, it's a little, like yeah. even though it's not as loud, it just isn't the same feel, I okay. guess, as, as soft as the TaylorMade. Sure. But I still, I probably like this club personally better for myself just without the yeah, yeah, yeah. left bias, but it also looks a little better to me like from mm -hmm. setup, but that's just like a personal preference. Oh, yeah. That one was really good. That's a really good drive. That was my best drive. Yeah, I don't think you hit the TaylorMade. You, I don't know if you got to 243 total yards with that one. That one was really good. <laughs> Trying to swing harder. Yeah, you can tell just my miss is here a little bit smaller. It too. seems like you're, because we can, we'll pull up the TaylorMade sort of misses, so to speak. It, it seems, seems like those were a little bit farther left. Yes, for sure. That one was good too. It felt good. Oh yeah. Let's see. We've got two more. Two more to hit here. And we'll have our our sample built out. But I quick look at the ping numbers. They look pretty darn good right now. Like how consistent that spin is. Everything's everything's consistent. Oh my goodness! It keeps falling off the tee. <laughs> it's probably the tee. Been tee. That tee's been hit off of a few times just before. A, just a couple. Ooh, look at the ball speed on this one. Ooh. Wow, 245.9. I like this driver. <laughs> yeah? Yes. And that is the hazardous red shaft too. So it's, I mean, it's somewhat similar to the one that you're, you're playing in your driver. Yeah. Wow. All right. Perfect. I think we're, we're, this is going to be fun to look at these numbers here. So um, we talked a little bit about the feel, mm -hmm. kind of, you kind of thought the ping was a little bit firmer, right? Um, now we get to bring up the dispersion here. We can pick a couple of shots. I, I mean, I think these are the two really, right? To sort of yep. remove. So we'll go there and we'll go here. So we've got our best eight of 10 now yeah. with the ping and I'll show all. We what is that in terms of side total too? That's, yeah, that's pretty small. Yeah. So here we go. We've got the QI 10. This is actually the 10 K or the QI 10 max. I should probably label that correctly. Um, here I'll make sure that that's correct before I get any questions in the comments saying, oh, you got the wrong club. You know, <laughs> I have my cursor here, okay. So, QI 10 max and G430 max 10K. Um, we wanna talk dispersion first or do we wanna talk the numbers first? Let's talk numbers. Let's talk numbers, let's do it. The spin, pretty similar. And, I, and so they're the same loft and they're both um, built to be you know square. Like I didn't make any housel adjustments, they're both standard. Um, I like that our club speeds are so similar. Mm -hmm. um, I love that because it gives us a pretty good test here. Um, slightly more efficient, I mean, very slightly, we're talking 0.3 miles an hour difference in ball speed with the QI 10 Max, so a slightly faster there. Um, and however, a little bit uh, more carry distance with the 10K because if I find it here, your launch angle is slightly higher, but this is nitpicking. Um, pretty much what we're seeing here is, a pr I mean, 215 on the carry, about 240 on the total, average for both, right? So I think we're seeing how consistent they both are. And if I bring up all of the shots, 
the consistency of the carry distance is what stands out from both clubs. Yep. I mean, within a couple yards on average with the QI 10 max, G430 max 10K is about 2.7 yards. Um, is there any numbers here, Bell, as you look at this massive chart of numbers that stands out to you here? Mm -hmm. I think one thing to know, I just wanted to go to numbers first, is just yeah. to point out how similar they were. Yeah. From a club head speed standpoint, from yep. Smash Factor, like identical. So just seeing how similar the numbers were, but then in terms of comparing it to the dispersion, yep. I think that just shows you like how important um, a club is for you and like yeah. finding a specific one catered to you because as of here like all of the numbers are the same it's just the dispersion was definitely considerably different as we'll see yep. and I think that just that just goes to show that having that that bias that's for you depending mm -hmm. on how you swing is really important for me with the clubs the ping definitely worked a lot better yeah um, I just felt like it, it was a little bit harder off the face not as soft of a feel but besides that um, it, I really liked yeah. the look of it and how, how it felt. The tailor-made one it was really great too. I think the main difference was just that that left bias. If you're you know a cut, mm -hmm. or if you're a slice hitter, or you know kind of had that tendency to hit it right, maybe the tailor-made would be perfect for you to kind of even that out. So everyone's different, but for me, I I definitely preferred the ping. Yeah, I think that's I think you're 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 spot on. I think there's very they're they're both gonna give you. A lot of consistency. Um, if you you know miss hit the center of the face, you're going to get a lot of that retention and the performance. We saw. I mean, these are all. I mean, you could lay a blanket over like all these tee shots almost. You know. Yeah. Um, and it just you could just tell with the tailor made. You're maybe kind of trying to sort of uh, adjust. manipulate it I was a little to bit, more a bit more. Yeah. With the, and then versus the ping, it's kind of just like I had talked about. And you know, when we were down at ping, we found this out too. They're just trying to give you a straight ball flight. And yep. so what we have here is a pretty darn straight ball yeah. flight. You know, out and of the you know, we, here's seven of the shots yep. out of the ten, and they're all kind of right yeah. by that center line. And and something to note too, just for those watching, is this is about the five yard line. So right. everything right around here is like really good, and some of the big misses were definitely more with the tailor made. So yeah, I mean here, I this is, I mean the map so to speak that I'm using here. I don't, I didn't. The traditional TrackMan range that we use is that gigantic wide fairway. This is actually a probably a standard fairway that you would find on a golf course in terms of how wide this range yeah. is, and every one of these golf balls is in the fairway comfortably. So um, there is, I think, a lot of good things coming from both of these drivers. I think players should be excited about them. I yeah. think we have a good test here as well. Um, G430 Max 10K, it's going to be very forgiving, very straight. The QI 10 Max, as we saw today, if you do need a little bit of slice correction, um, I think you saw that today, but Bella was able to curve that ball a little bit, hit that draw, and but either way, very consistent, very forgiving. Mm -hmm. um, the, they live up to the, their name, so to speak, of 10K or QI10 as the 10,000 MOI. So Bella, thanks for swinging today, hitting the shots. Some really, really good tee shots here. I mean, again, that dispersion <laughs> is kind you. of ridiculous. So really good stuff here. Thank you.